are we on? Are we on? Yep, oh, we're right, Hi, I am Tyler Hubble today. I'm here with my good friend Larry. All right, so to smack him a little bit, get him in tip top shape. All right, we're going to be teaching you today how to survive out here in the wilderness. I want to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, this right here, if you look down, look at that. That right there, you got some nice little caterpillar bites right there. Nice little caterpillars out there, okay? Now, they're probably out here somewhere. They're going to be roaming and they will be turning into beautiful butterflies. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm telling you, everything that we have out here is absolutely wonderful and beautiful. Just look at the world and the nature around us. It's fucking beautiful. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Cut that out. I don't want to be swearing like that. I'm so sorry for all the little kids watching out there. Buddy, we're just going to keep going with it, okay? Gonna just have a good time going. out we're here. Gonna we're going to have a good time out here. Out. This right here is my poking stick. I just like make sure that I can stay away from any dangerous species that we have because if there's dangerous species, you know, I don't want to be attacked. And I'm going to save my good friend here, Larry, because, you know, he is very scared of the wilderness. So if you're looking down right here, you see the three leaf clover right there like that. Now that actually is not poisonous because if it was poisonous, there would be a little leaf like that right there around it. So that is not poison ivy. We're going to go ahead and see if we can see any poison ivy out here. After multiple now, strains. I just wanted to let you know that if you're ever out here in the wilderness, you're going to need something like this because this right here is actually very good protection for your pooper. Now let me tell you that folks, it is absolutely 100% needed out here in the wilderness. All you're going to do is just take off a little piece of leaf like this. You can tell it's already been uh, contracted a little bit by the caterpillars out here but you take a little leaf and rub it on your pooper like that and there you go you got a handy dandy wipe for yourself now I'm gonna let you carry this for yourself Larry all oh, right Larry be safe I'm gonna lead the way over here we're actually today we are looking for hornets okay we want to find and see real live hornets because uh, oh wait Mike are you okay Mike are you okay now me in the past life I did pass away from a stingray but I do not want it to happen again. All right, now let's go ahead. What is that? Let's keep everything what is safe. That? that right there is a gopher hole. You're gonna want to go yeah. ahead and stay away from that. Actually, I think you should just poke it. Stay back, stay back, stay back to this one first. Stay you, back. Sorry, I, keep the hammer out. Keep the hammer out. Are you, are you gonna stay poke back, it just to take, take a look around? Yeah, I'm gonna poke it with a stick. All right, we're just gonna get a quick look at here, see if we can capture anything in here. All right, let's just poke it. We got my poker stick. All right, now actually we did just get a little crevice coming out here. Now I think he was. Does anyone have a smoke bomb? Then we have a smoke bomb. We're gonna throw a I smoke do not. Bomb in there. We don't have smoke bombs. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and poke with a stick. We could gas him out, Hitler. Style. Oh fuck! All right, let's get out of here. There, he was pretty angry. There. Smoke in the okay, folks. We're gonna take the easiest route. It's probably we're right looking here. right now for Australian hornets. These hornets are incredibly deadly, and they're known now, for their venomous stings. That will kill you unless you Be sure you to find watch your step and watch out for any poisonous ivy. I'll be sure to let you know about it. Now guys, what you're seeing right here is a, a bunch of leaves. We actually just found some of the world's most delicious berries ever. <laughs> I want to tell you here. Now look at this. You just take it like that. And you oh my goodness gracious, it's so freaking good. I love it, guys. Alright, now let's go ahead and go over here. Right, let's go check out this guy. I think, I think we may have found, I think we may have found a hornet. This, this body right here, Larry's been around for about 13 years. He is a bee expert, everyone. An absolute bee expert. Of course, I'm just a wilderness expert, but it's okay. That right there is a hornet's nest, okay? Now, it is live and it is active, so you need to be very, very careful. All right, Larry? All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke it with a stick. All right, are you ready? Oh, my God, he's angry! He's angry. Japanese hornet, her, breed, her species from Australia. I think we need to go capture it, mate. The, the human beings, the human species, we only got the idea to invent paper by turning wood pulp into paper because we saw the like, Australian Japanese hornet chewing on posts and wood, tree trunks, and then they fly back to their nest and they make their paper nest. That's how humans got the idea for it. Australian hornets. Look at that right there. There's an Australian we're gonna, hornet. We're going to bag Oh, you bag it, I'm gonna poke it. You see it's active. It is very, very active. I'm gonna poke it. They have seemed to calm okay, down. I poke bit. you capture on three. You ready? Ready? Yeah. Three. Oh shit! Oh. You just fucked ah. up! Oh. Hey. Crazy. These bees are incredibly deadly. The venom is horrendous. You gotta run around and get them off here. Bag. You got them bag. You got them bag. The buzzer. Now beat crazy. it. Now listen, take, take it. It's all I you. absolutely love these creatures. 
Jesus. Rest in peace, creatures. Those guys are going absolutely now, crazy. Stay back, stay back, stay back. It is very dead. Oh, this heart of nature. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at all the comb nature right there. Yeah, Just the way so the hot. architectural and the lava design is. Looks actually, it looks very disgusting. If people have those phobias with little tiny holes, this the is lava not actually amazing. only take two weeks to hatch and turn into worker drones and bees. Larry. Yes. Larry. What's up? I think I'm going to need. Was, you need it, was it the berries? I need a, was I need it the oh, berries? no, 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 no. Larry. I got the toilet paper for you. Larry, I had one of those berries. Okay, yeah, you need to make sure. Oh, are you ready? You need to make sure. Oh, the berries! Oh. Oh. Incredibly toxic. Oh. We need more pooper paper. Get the pooper paper. Pooper paper. Pooper paper. We need more. We need more. Shit. Shit, why are you. He's looking. He's what's. Alright, you rub my ass then. Fuck. Alright, folks, now what have we learned here today, Larry? Oh, what have we learned here today? Well, folks, we've learned that you do not want to mess with the Australian Japanese Hornet. They are incredibly deadly. They are very. The venom that they release into your body can kill you, but lucky enough for both of us, we are not allergic. That's why we do this. That is absolutely correct. And you know what, folks? You need to tune in next week because we will be doing this over and over again to capture some more endangered species and to teach you, America, and the rest of the world, like us Australians, what it's like to be a world class survivor. Did today's episode touch anything about nature and survival? You haven't seen nothing yet. Tune in next week, like my partner just said, and you guys will really see how to truly live on the outdoors. That's right. Good job, Larry. You two were very lucky today, but I wasn't. I actually got bit. <laughs>